All right, it is May 21st, 2019. Here with my buddy Ethan. Where'd you drive from? Maryland. From, yeah, southern Pennsylvania, right on the Maryland line. Came up to fish with me. I don't know what's wrong with him. Doing something different. We got the canoe loaded up. We're doing an overnight float trip on this wild brown trout stream here in Pennsylvania. So we have our rods rigged up with our nymph and stuff. We're gonna float down nymph whenever we feel like it, float. And then once the sun goes down a little bit, we're gonna pick up the streamer rods, throw some streamers, and then hopefully mouse a little bit tonight and have some luck. So let's begin the float. Nice fish, took a little chartreuse caddis. Look at those spots. Nice fish just took the articulated sculpin. All right, we made it to where we're going to camp. It's, a little, it's pretty dark out now, but good thing we have lights to set it up. So, caught a few fish. What? How, how many did you get? I got seven. You probably got five or six. So, good float. Uh, we got a lot tomorrow, and so we're going to set up camp now. Get some hot dogs and chuck some mouse patterns to stick around. Got a nice piece of stick here. We got some quality ballpark hot dogs from the old Wally World. Got 
guess you gotta open these with a knife. <laughs> you good? They're freaking bulletproof. There we go. Beautiful. Slide our hot dog. Hold. Should we do it horizontal or vertical? That's a tough decision. I think if you do it like this, it's kind of weird. We'll do it like this. So we can fit about six on there at once. That would do too. Right after you just touch some trout, you gotta rub your the grease off the trout onto your hot dogs. Still tastes the same. Oh yeah. We got one. <laughs> that one's not coming off the same. We got two. Some ketchup on these bad boys. This segment of Hardway Outdoors is brought to you by Heinz Tomato Ketchup. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> What you got going on over there? Well, little, little chips on the dog action. And this segment is brought to you by Heinz Ketchup. Oh, there it is. Let me zoom in on that. I'm gonna give it a shot. One bite. You know the rule. <laughs> chocolate chip cookie and then we're gonna hit the water and throw some mouses little mouses patterns we won't catch anything <laughs> <Probably not. laughs> but hey it's worth a try got the mouse tied on okay I'm giving you guys a first person view at mousing. Um, as you can see, uh, you can't see anything. I can't see a thing. I don't know where I'm casting. I don't know where I am. All I see is Ethan's red headlight bobbing around. So far, no luck. We're gonna head down. Try another spot. Yeah, well, we gave it a shot, but uh, no luck. Man, that's it's tough. It's crazy how you know what you're casting. Yeah, it is. You know, you just, you've done it so many times casting like that, and you can still just know where your fly is. It's crazy, but uh, yeah, that definitely gets the heart racing, even though nothing <laughs> yeah, happened. Yeah, it does. But uh, hopefully, I can, I can get out and do this more this summer. So we're gonna hang around the fire a little bit, dry our, dry ourselves off, and get some sleep. Wake up early. Hopefully, catch some fish. Got the sleeping quarters all made up. Just got a tarp overhead. Got a tarp on the ground. Sleeping bags, pella. We're set. Fire's rolling. And there's fish to be caught in the morning, so we'll see you then. Well, it's the morning, May 22nd. It's around 5.50 right now. Made a fire. It is pretty chilly right now. Did you say 34? 44. 44. Yeah. 44 degrees right now. And man, it was a cold night. Uh, fire died out half hour and <laughs> to land <laughs> yeah, down, yeah. but uh, we're alive. Got some chocolate chip cookies. Wake us up. And uh, 
We're gonna wait her up here in about probably 15 minutes after we get a little warmed up. Head down to the water. We were throwing mouse patterns up here and down through there last night, and uh, I know there's fish through there, so hopefully we can nymph them up. But for right now, we're getting warm. Oh yeah. Chocolate espresso beans. It's gonna be a good day. You cast in, Ethan hooked up to a good brown. It's a sucker. It's a sucker. Yeah, it's a sucker. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful specimen. Look at that. There it is. Natives. <laughs> Ethan got the first trout of the day. To our surprise, it's a brook trout. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice fish. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> there you are. Ethan's catching quite a few in this hole. And he's got a big one on now, or a decent one. Could it be another sucker? Oh, that's a freaking huge brown dude. Yeah. Look at that fish. That's awesome. Yes! Yeah. I told you that's they were awesome here, dude. Fish, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> I missed a big one in this hole, and I lost on the second red shake, but I knew there was going to be more big fish in there, so I kept hitting it, and uh, eventually got into a good one, so here it is. Look at this beautiful fish, man. Nice wild brown. Yep. It's a beaut. Drop it back in the net, and we'll put it back. Somebody else's lines in them. Nice brown here. Got some line literally coming through his gills. I'll have to cut that. Look at that coming out of his Yeah, lips. that's crazy. Freaking people. How does that even happen? I'm cutting that. It's not a bad fish either. These healthy fish. Suckers. Can't see the hook. But yeah, healthy fish. We'll get them back here. Oh, those are fall fish. Fall fish, fall fish. Look at all those suckers. Yeah. Oh.
Solid fish. Probably 17 incher. Very nice fish. So a lot of this float, we've been going through a lot of deep, slow water. We've been seeing a lot of carp and suckers, but we'll hit some riffles like this, just a little more trout type holding water, get out, fish for a little bit, catch a few fish, float down. It's been a freaking blast, and uh, we got a lot more to float today, so a lot more fish to catch. So this has been the hot fly for us, this trip. It's just a this is just a size 18 black Frenchie with a silver bead. Uh, Ethan's using a size 14. And we've got a few on some chartreuse caddis too, but this black fly has been a hot fly. Got some hoagies for lunch today, and uh, yeah, I got a few miles left to float. It's around 11:30 right now. Yeah, it's been fishing pretty good. Can't complain. We're just gonna eat our hoagies. And we're gonna get back to it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cut this big brook trout. So pretty. There he goes. Made it to our takeout point. A really good riffle right here below the bridge. We're gonna fish it, see if we get anything. But that was a float. That was an awesome time. Pretty good time. We're gonna go down here, hopefully nymph up some fish, and then haul the boat out of here. And but yeah, that was freaking flat. Yeah, it was. That was, that was awesome. awesome. Good flip. Perfect timing, too. Yeah, it <laughs> was crazy.
There's a good one to end the video with. All right, that's all for the float. What do we do today? I think I caught 16 or so. Yeah, right. a little over 30 between two of us. Yeah, it was a good float. A uh, lot of unfishable water. I would say probably 15% of the float was actual like trout, fishable like riffles. A lot of dead slow water, but we made the most of it. Saw a bunch of fish. And uh, hopefully I can bring a couple more float videos like this this summer. It's a blast doing these. Hopefully I can do some for smallmouth and not more for some trout. But yeah, nonetheless, had a good time. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for fishing with me. Yeah, it was thanks a blast. for asking me.